Today we are going to look at factorizing a quadratic expression. A quadratic expression has the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants. As you recall, constants mean that their values are numerical values or numbers. We have two cases in which we can factorize a quadratic expression. The first case would be when the value of a is 1, and the second case would be when a is not 1. So now we are going to look at the first case. A quadratic has two factors which can be expressed in the form x plus p by x plus q where p and q would also be constants or numbers. When a equals 1, that's a number in front of x squared, we need to find two numbers when multiplied will give the value of c, but when added will give the value of b. These two numbers will represent p and q and can be written in the form x plus p and x plus q. So let's look at an example. So our first example, we have the quadratic equation x squared plus 3x plus 2. So from this equation, a is 1, that's the number in front of x squared, b would be 3, and c would be 2. So looking back at our criteria, we need to find two numbers when multiplied will give the value of c, but when added will give the value of b. So in terms of this question, we need to find two numbers that when we multiply we will get 2, but when we add them we will get 3. So since 2 is a prime number, the only numbers that we can multiply to give 2 in this case is 1 by 2. And if we notice when we add them, 1 plus 2, we get 3, which is the value of p. So these are our two numbers, which represent our p and q values. So when this expression is factorized, it will be written as x plus 1 in one bracket and x plus 2 in the other bracket. So now we are just going to verify if this method is correct for factorizing e quadratic. All right, so let's look. We learned before how to expand, expand brackets. So we write back the two factors below or on the side, then we multiply. x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by 2 will give us 2x. 1 multiplied by x will be 1x or just x. 1 multiplied by 2 gives 2. And just simplifying our similar terms in the middle here, we would have x squared plus 3x plus 2. And this gives us back our equation that we started with. So we know that our factors which we have obtained is accurate. Now we are going to look at example 2. We have the, ex the expression x squared minus 7x plus 12. From this expression, we can see that a is 1. Again, that's the value in front of x squared. b is minus 7, which is the value in front of x. And c is the constant value or the term that does not have an x term with it. Once we have identified the values of a, b, and c, we go back to our criteria that we have stated before. We need to find two numbers when multiplied will give the value of c, but when added will give the value of b. In this case, I need to find two numbers when I multiply, I would get 12, but when we add them, we need to get minus 7. So, we have a few more combinations that when multiplied will give 12 compared to our previous example where we had c being 2. So, we know that 6 by 2 can give us 12, and also we have 4 by 3. Now, 
We also know that when two negative numbers are multiplied, we also would get 12. So that means minus 6 multiplied by minus 2 also gives 12, as well as minus 4 multiplied by minus 3. So now we need to figure out which of these four combinations would be the correct one to use as the values of P and Q. Now that brings us to the second part of our criteria. Let's recap again. When the numbers are added, they give the value of B. So we look at adding both of them. So 6 plus 2 gives us 8. That's not the value that we need. Minus 6 plus minus 2 gives us negative 8, which is still not the value that we need. 4 plus 3 equals 7. We are getting closer. However, it's negative 7. Let's look at our last option. Minus 4 add minus 3 gives us minus 7 and this is the value of P that we want. So this here are our values of P and Q that we are going to use to factorize. So as stated earlier as well, any quadratic can be factorized in this form where we have A is 1. So we have x plus p and x plus q. So once we found the values of p and q, we can rewrite it x plus p, that's x plus minus 4, which is just minus 4. And x plus q is x plus minus 3, which is just minus 3. As we know from before, a plus and a minus here just gives us a minus. Same applies for x minus 4. So now that we have covered two examples, we are going to look at attempting to factorize a quadratic r a. So at this point, we, we should pause the video, write down the quadratic, and try to factorize it. When you are finished, you can press play and see the solution. Okay, now that you have attempted the question, let us double check and see what our answer would be. So from this quadratic, the value in front of x squared is 1, so a gives the value of 1. b in front of x is 7, c is a constant, which is 10. So we want two numbers, when multiplied will give the value of b, but when added will, sorry, when multiplied will give the value of c, but when added will give the value of b. So numbers that multiply together, that's what gives 10, will be 1 by 10 and 5 by 2 or 2 by 5. Our second part of the criteria, when we add it, will give 7. Let's check and see which of these would give 7. Again, our negative 1 and negative 10, when multiplied, will also give us 10. Same for minus 5 or minus 2, multiplied will give 10. So we need to explore all options. However, in this case, since both B and C are positive, our answers would more likely be the positive numbers. So when we add 1 plus 10, we get 11. That's not the value of B. 1 minus 1 plus minus 10 gives minus 11. Still not the value that we need. 5 multiplied by 2 gives 10. 5 plus 2 gives 7. This is our answer. If we move forward and do the other part, we get negative 7, which is still not the value that we need. Hence, our values of P and Q comes from this combination here, where we have P equal 5 and Q equal 2. Note that this can be written in any order. So if we have P equal 2 and Q equal 5, that is also correct. So from this point, our answer here would be X plus P which is x plus 5, by x plus q, which is x plus 2. Again, multiplication is also commutative. So if I have x plus 2 in the first bracket, and then x plus 5 in the second bracket, that solution is also correct. Now we are going to attempt factorizing another quadratic. So in question 2, we have x squared minus x minus 6. So, again, we are going to take a few minutes to attempt to do this question on our own, and then we will check the solution in a couple minutes.
So pause the video and attempt the question. Now that we have attempted the question, let us check our solution. Given this quadratic expression, the value of a is equal to 1, b equal minus 1, and c equal minus 6. We need to find two numbers when multiplied will give c, which is minus 6, but when added will give us minus 1. So, combinations that would give negative 6 will be 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, and if it's minus 6, then one of the two numbers will have to be minus. Either the 2 is negative or the 3 is negative. Our next combination would be 1 and 6. So we have 1 multiplied by 6 will give us 6. However, since it's minus 6, one of our numbers will have to be negative. So either the 1 is negative or the 6 is negative. Now looking at our second part of the criteria, when we add them, we want to get the value of b, which is minus 1. So minus 2 plus 3 gives us positive 1. So this is not it. 2 plus minus 3 gives us minus 1. So we have our combination already. At this point, we could stop here and take our values of 2 and minus 3. We could still continue as well, just to make sure that none of the others would be the answer, but this part of it would be unnecessary as we have already found our combinations. Right, so once we found our combination here, which is minus 2 and minus 3, that's our values of P and Q. So you have P equal 2, Q equal minus 3. Again, this can be written in any order, so we could have P equal minus 3 and Q equal 2. So now we can express it in our form x plus p by x plus q, which is x plus minus 3 plus and a minus, will give us a minus. And this is our answer. So I hope you all have understood how to factorize a quadratic expression when the value in front of x squared is a c. Just to recap, a quadratic expression has the form ax squared plus bx plus c. We have two cases. The first case is when a is equal to 1, which is what we have looked at today. The second case would be when a is not equal to 1, which will follow up in part 2 of this tutorial. So when we have a quadratic in which a is equal to 1, again we have two factors, x plus p and x plus q. To figure out what's the value of p and q, we use this criteria. We need to find two numbers when multiplied will give the value of C, but when added will give the value of P. These numbers will represent P and Q and can be written in the form X plus P by X plus Q. So, please look at our video again. If there's anything that you don't understand, feel free to contact me. Thank you.